Hey, what's up guys? Jesse here from JP Modified. It's been a while uh, that we've uploaded a video. I think the last video we uploaded was probably two months ago or even more than that. Uh, a few months ago, we did a build or we completed a build that we did for Lee and Lee, EK Waterblocks, NVIDIA, and G-Skill. Uh, the build was on the DK05 FX case. Now, easily the DK05 FX case was the biggest, literally biggest and most expensive uh, build that we've ever done in a while or ever since we started this whole modding thing the case alone was about one thousand dollars and uh the rest uh, of the other parts as well in it um i don't even want to think about how much it cost it was hard for us to shoot final videos anywhere near where we lived or at the shop so we took the build all the way over to our friend's house to have the final you know uh shots there well sit back relax and enjoy this video
All right, that was it. The DK05 FX case. Now, the DK05 FX case had a thin line between being difficult to work on and being easy to work on. Now, it was easy to work on because all the radiator mounts, fan mounts, motherboard mounts, and everything else uh, were, you know, pretty much already there. All you needed to do was just place the hardware inside. And also, thanks to EK Water Blocks, it was also very easy for us to water cool the whole system because we used the uh, distro blocks or distro plates specifically made by EK Water Blocks for this case. So the two bruns came natural, really easy to install. Uh, there were discrepancies on the height of the GPU section because on the, I think it was the Intel build, uh, we used a more recent uh, RTX 3080 on it. And the other one, we used the Founders Edition um, GTX titan xp so uh the heights between those two were different so it was a little bit tricky to you know to route the tubes exactly the same on both ends we received the case uh the middle of last year it took a long time for us to build it because it was really difficult to acquire support for um two motherboards and two gpus and such so um we and we couldn't, you know, use oppo opposite brands if we were, you know, to seek support. So if we wanted to use Asus, uh, we'd have to have two Asus motherboards, which they could not do. And unfortunately, we also tried Oris. Um, they couldn't support two systems either at the same time. So um, we had no choice but to acquire, uh, you know, uh, both different systems, um, you know, in, in a different way. So once the hardware was complete, it was just a matter of crossing our T's and dotting our I's. Uh, we just, you know, slapped on the water cooling and everything else, and then it was a breeze from there on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, again, it's been a while that I haven't uploaded anything. Uh, we're still very, very active on social media. Um, not so much on Instagram, not so much on Twitter, most especially, but we are very active on Facebook. So if you guys follow us on Facebook, uh, I'm pretty sure you see us post... Uh, you know several builds like a week or every every so often we we post new stuff um some of those stuff we are able to put in on youtube some of those stuff unfortunately we aren't able to shoot because again this is a two-man gang with me and jeb so uh anyways thank you very much for joining us this week see you guys on the next video this has been jesse of jp modified mod on <laughs>